What's up, Kaji? So apparently somebody was able to play Hogwarts Legacy early and they released their first impressions. There's a video I want to show you. We're going to be getting right into the story, but more importantly, I got to show you this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the end times, okay? Reset Era is banning all discussion of Hogwarts Legacy. Wow, so strong, so brave. It's a gaming forum banning all talk of one of the largest games this year and they're terrified of its, its success. I... My guy, like, I just cannot even fucking compute this one, ladies and gentlemen, because we got paragraphs written upon. I'll still get into the video in just a Bruh. second, so stick around for that one. But I want to know your thoughts. Man came out with a bumble cloud by saying, I wore it with my wallet. Bumble cloud! And then there's, like, people out there cheering. There are people out there saying, woke is era weird. We're living it through end times, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it's, like, politics. It's the woke agenda. It's, like, bruh, like... Humanity, man, this is a massive, major downfall of humanity. But you know what we're gonna do? We're definitely gonna be getting this game, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be streaming day one. One like on the video equal 10 slaps to the people that are trying to cancel this game. Share it around because they're really trying to stop this game over politics. Let's roll. Let's so this, this is a warning that if you are a fan of this game, now is the time to be prepared because brutally honest opinions is what we are about to see very, very soon. Before we get into that, I need to pump the brakes because... Gen in in all reality in all reality we're not gonna have brutally honest opinions and it's gonna be really really hard let's just say hypothetically like you're somebody that is not about that woke agenda you're not motivated by the politics you're like okay i, I just genuinely want to know is this gonna be a good game it's gonna be really hard to know whether it's gonna be a great game listen i'm biased i'm a fan of harry potter i like what, what i'm seeing and on top they're trying to like cancel this game they're trying to like boycott this game so that motivates me even more to buy the game right that motivates me even more to get into the game a lot of people People are the same way but there's surely one of you out there that's like is this gonna be like a really good game is this is this gonna be like cyberpunk uh 2077 Bruh. hope not but there's always a possibility let's be realistic let's just throw our emotions and biasness aside let's just think logically and rationally if you're someone that is re realistically you want to know if this game is going to be a good one or a bad one in my honest opinion, you should wait like a week because even the user reviews are not going to be trusted because there will be people that will give it 0 out of 10 simply because of the politics and not because of the quality of the product. Uh, drop a thumbs up if you agree and there will be people that will give it 10 out of 10 that are massive fans of this game and perfectly fine but it, but when somebody want to know your genuine review they want to know your genuine review based on the product and not based on the biasness and based on you being a fan or not in my honest opinion you gotta wait a week and uh, make sure you stay away from ig <laughs> rule number one okay rule number one stay away from ign reviews rule number two stay away from ign reviews and uh Bruh. because they're motivated by politics and not the quality of the product on demo seem to have rolled out to selected people now on top of that how will dumbledore being sorted into the gryffindor house in 1892 affect mm. the game and will there be a curfew so let's dive straight into this What's so first of all the hands-on demo reviews are coming very very soon because the potter collector on instagram just confirmed that he has played hogwarts legacy for the first time now you could argue the fact that some of these reviews could potentially be biased because yep. you know they've been brought out to the location and so forth but one thing you need to take into account is it's not just content creators it's the big media outlets as well that have very very likely already played this game and you typically know how that goes down and it gets very and, and the, the craziest part here is that reset era gaming forum banning all of that i just cannot even compute that so, so brutally honest opinions is what you should expect but at the same time it's a discussion that we had not too long ago of course where we know that things could potentially just get very toxic in a nutshell so now is the time to just basically prepare yourself for that and not let that affect your experience of course in this game now dumbledore was sorted into gryffindor house in 1892 so how will it actually impact the story if we arrive at hogwarts between 1890 Man. and 18 92 of course so that was posted on reddit and somebody did i i recently started watching the the movies once again man and uh, i'm a massive fan right like i i binge watched those movies uh, a million times already i'm doing it again i really hope i get to watch all, all the movies before the game comes out so i'm prepared man i'm genuinely excited for this game i genuinely am excited because 
the last time when I was this excited, uh, <laughs> I was excited for Cyberpunk, but I really hope it's not like the Hogwarts Legacy 2077, though. That would genuinely be sad, okay? Because the gaming industry is so dry right now. Politics, uh, politics aside, woke agenda aside, I just want a quality game. I just want a quality product. I feel like a lot of you are the same way, right? A lot of you want a good game because there's nothing out right now. Like, FPS games kind of dead. Call of Duty, eh, kind of dry. I'm a big fan of Call of Duty, but eh, they're also pushing the their agenda. They're also pushing cheating. There's a lot of wokeism and shiza like that. No content. It's There are more flags in that game than maps. Like, I, I, I cannot even believe that, right? So, I, I genuinely hope this game bangs. And not for... Not to prove people wrong, but to genuinely make the fans happy that are part of the harry potter that that are into harry potter that love the franchise okay i i, I really hope this game bangs for the right reasons and not for the the yeah you know what i mean right? respond with a very good i guess you could say answer to this where they said we arrive at hogwarts on september 1st 1890 our fifth year at hogwarts will end sometime in may june in 1891 so we will not see dumbledore at all if there is a sequel however to Hogwarts Legacy, we may see Dumbledore's first year when we are a sequel? Sequel? It's probably gonna happen like 20 years from now. Bruh. Seventh year. So that makes complete sense, but what do you think on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you They're already trying to cancel this game and my guy's talking, casually talking about a sequel. Bruh. I feel like a lot of things <laughs> will get added as a form of DLC for the most part because we know so many things were removed and tweaked, etc. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. Now, will this game have curfew? So somebody posted a list on Reddit on the top things they hope to see in this game. And one of them was curfew and basically prefect slash teacher etc busting you if you get caught roaming school at night another one was more dark things and creatures out at night in the countryside slash woods and how it's ultimately you know safer in the day and more dangerous at night the third thing was the opportunity to go into the chamber of secrets number four was able to travel to man yo that that dark forest and chamber of secrets man the fact that you can actually travel and, and explore, it's gonna be amazing, man. That's dope as hell. Hogsmeade bro. anytime via tunnel or flying, which is something I really, really want to be able to do. And there were a few other things as well, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. But I think those top three things are actually very important as far as, you know, the gameplay experience goes for the most part. Right. And a curfew would definitely be something interesting because I know a lot of people were saying how they ultimately want to face consequences in the game for the most part. And I think it's an interesting take. As I said, it depends how you want your gameplay experience to be and that could potentially be on a complete different difficulty as well so how yeah. do you guys feel about that let me know in the comment section below ladies and gentlemen also a dev came out and talked about the multiplayer click on this video on the screen do you want the multiplayer he gave uh, one of those responses that's kind of weird click on this video or click the video on the left either one and i'll see you right there